ladies and gentlemen, welcome to week two of Teachers Talk Niners. Once again, I have Mr. Roshkolb here. He was present at the catch, 1982. <laughs> What's your take on last week's game, Mr. Roshkolb? Okay, I have to admit, I didn't. See, I was out of town, so I just caught the very end, um, which brought some uh, heart beating to uh, you know when I read that they, I saw that they lost a 17-point lead, and Matthew Stafford had the ball. And I was, it was, it was. It was unsettling, to, to say the least. Uh, good things to take away from it, which, you know, is Breda's run. Um, the running game in, as a whole was very good. Uh, I don't understand why they didn't run the ball on third down when at the end of the game when they needed two yards and Garoppolo ended up throwing an interception that almost got returned for a touchdown and got called back because of a holding penalty. Ooh. It seemed to make sense to, to run the ball. So eh, poor, uh, bad decision making. Um, I still am uh, the jury's still out on Garoppolo. You know, he does doesn't look that good as far as I'm concerned. He makes poor throws. Um, he does make good decisions sometimes, and I, you know, I have problems with that. I, I'm still um, the jury's still out for me. Okay, well, good analysis on that. Yeah. Now we're going up against the Chiefs, who are currently two and zero. What's your take on that? Well, you know, our defense. Let's get to the defense. Um, no pass rush. Uh, if he's secondary, I don't know why that Lynch didn't invest some money in a pass rusher. Look what Khalil Mack's done in uh, the Chicago. You know, every time he's on the field, he just destroys the offense. You know, uh, and the Niners know. tried yeah. to get him. By the yeah, way, yeah, well, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, they they did. Uh, but I can understand not spending the money. But somebody they need an outside pass rusher. If they don't have a pass rusher, Matthew Stafford will kill you. You know, oh, he'll, yeah. he'll, he'll yeah. eat you alive, which he did. So, um, and. Defensive backs. They have a bunch of rookies in there. They have Sherman, who's a solid player, but Achille Witherspoon got torched, uh, yeah. scorched twice. And Mr. McGovern, my dear friend, very hard horror uh, 49er fan, texted me, Achille Witherspoon has been released from the burn unit at UC Davis uh, Hospital after being scorched by the um, Matthew Stafford. So yeah. um, I, I think they have potential to be a really good team. However, and they did close that game out. They didn't lose it. So, positive point to take away. They didn't lose it, which they could have. And What's last, the Raiders did? Last year, <laughs> yeah, we get that dig in there. Last year, the Niners would have lost that game. Yeah, they would have lost, lost that, that game. game. Yeah, so, there's yeah, some yeah, definite yeah, improvement yeah, that we yeah. can see. So, what do you got? You got a win or a loss this Sunday? I think they have a hard time winning against a team that can pass and throw. I agree. Um, I agree. You know, and I, I, the jury's still on Garoppolo. I think he could be good, but, you know, right now, $137 million. I don't know. <laughs> well, you got, you got to pay that much money to get yes, I somebody. Do. I mean, you got to yeah, pay premiums. But this is a guy that, especially when yeah, they were so yeah, low. Yeah. You know, but the this franchise. is a guy that had never played an NFL game, really. The, the, the couple. But, you know, I don't know. Hey, well, he's obviously yeah. not the yeah. savior. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. okay, well, that's it. I, you know, um, still a diehard fan. I'll stick by him and hope for the best. Teachers talk Niners. Okay, all right.